honestly, to encourage even someone on the platform, you know, that what we actually doing, we are not just doing it for the sake of doing it, but um, we know that God is actually is with us. Mm. My first testimony um, will be today, actually, I've, um, I want to testify that I've got life. I woke up this Amen. morning. I woke up this morning and um, honestly speaking, maybe let me say this because uh, of my other testimony of 2018. So yeah. every, every single day when I wake up to me, it's just like, wow, I'm alive today. Amen. <laughs> I'm alive today. And honestly, it just make, it gives me that, um, let me say the thanksgiving to God the appreciation, and I see the love of God and every day when I wake up and um, see myself in good health and keep going. And honestly speaking, this is one of my biggest testimony on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. So that's, that's my first testimony I wanted to share with everyone on the platform. Just to thank God that today we are still here and we are still standing, connecting, and really and sing the love of God. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Triumph. Let's give a big hand uh, uh, offering unto the Lord for that powerful testimony. Hello. And Hello. I believe that uh, maybe some of uh, the people Hello. that uh, uh, do not know maybe much of that testimony, uh, Reverend Triumph, uh, way back uh, going to 2018, gone into the hospital and the next minute we began to hear the news to say she's not looking uh, good the next minute uh, all the doctors are saying uh, she is gone and uh, the next minute uh, everybody is uh, shocked to say what is it and uh, by god's grace uh, she came back to life uh, after uh, beyond the time that medical our science tells us to say you can be uh, without life for this time. They can resuscitate you for these many times. Beyond that, they can't do anything, but we see the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So today is testimony time, thanksgiving, sharing a word of encouragement, sharing a scripture that God might have uh, put upon your heart. So we've just had the testimony number one from uh, uh, Reverend uh, Triumph. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, who is next, please? Uh, you can indicate by electronic hand or by unmuting yourself and uh, share your testimony, what God has done during the time that we have been uh, praying, anything that God might have uh, done, uh, done uh, in these uh, last few days. We've been uh, praying and we'll continue uh, to pray. Who's next? <laughs> I don't want to put Brother Dave on the spot, but uh, as he was announced, he actually told me that he's got a testimony. So I'm not quite sure. All if right. I can, I can see that the testimony is ready. I can see a glass of water there just to make sure that uh, it quenches uh, the thirst and shares. Brother Dave, you are next. Uh, please put in the chat if you have a testimony and then we'll just uh, mention your name. Uh, uh, after each brief testimony uh, from one another. Brother Dave, over to you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, uh, everybody. And, good afternoon. Um, I've got to really say that um, there's something a little bit different when it comes to um, pray and fasting. You know, um, it was something very new for me um, years ago, I didn't really understand it, but being on the Warwick platform um, and being taught um, what prayer and fasting is all about and what it can actually do. Uh, one thing that um, I really understand that it can do for you is that there's, well, for me, there's a stronger connection to God in prayer, um, there's a few things that I've actually had my back against the wall where I didn't see a way out. And I'm, I'm even talking since we started 
on the 3rd of January. My back's been against the wall. Yeah, I know I'm Dave Brooks, just buying poems, but it, it does come with some, some tough times. And that's part of the journey as well, where I've actually been on my knees a few times at a higher level of prayer and God's turned up. So many of you know that I'm CEO of Just Divine Poem Services, and I've been praying that I can reach out to, to many people. I used to talk about reaching to people in, in, in my community. Then I uplifted it, and then I started talking about, I want to reach people um, um, in the UK. And I was, I was talking about community in UK for many years. And you, you know what I can do. And God's blessed me to do what I can do. And in the lo lockdown period, God's elevated me with the words from my heart. Then I started talking about, I want to not only reach people in my community, reach people in the UK, I want to go abroad. And I've been praying into it. But this 3rd of January, I've been praying into it in a, in a whole new level. I, I, I've been, my, my knees, I, I feel I need to get pads, you know, the skateboarder pads on my knees because I've been having some, some real serious time with God to say, I want to go to another level to different countries. And yes, Africa has been on my prayer line. Yes, America has been on my prayer line. Yes, India has been on my prayer line. Yes, um, Italy have been on my prayer line. My God. So yesterday, I was cleaning the area of my home that I've been putting off for probably about seven months. You, you know, that area that's just full of kind of clutter. And I said, no, today I want to clean off this area. And behind the curtain in this area was a lot of suitcases and there was four suitcases. I'm saying, Father, what, what are you showing me with these suitcases? Do you want me to put all the clutter in suitcases so it's all nice and compact? And then 45 minutes into cleaning up this area, I get a phone call. And it's one of my best friends and said, what are you doing between June the 1st and June the 10th? And um, is, is Pastor Sam on the, on, the, on the platform? Can you unmute? Uh, not yet, not yet. Not yet, but it will be, it will be. It will be, be. Well, well I'll, t I'll tell you, um, Reverend Tryon, I won't be in church between the 1st of June and the 10th of June because I've been booked to go to India. And it's confirmed. The plane's been um, paid for, my accommodation's been paid for, my food's been paid for. I'm going to India, June 2022. And that was only by the grace of God that has allowed me to let this happen. It was part of my prayer point. Mm. India was part of my prayers. That I want to go and speak and uplift and motivate and um, encourage people in different countries. And, and India was on my, my list. And I'm, I'm going to Delhi. I'm going to, I'm going to Delhi. Wow. I'm going to Delhi. So that just happened yesterday. Everything's been paid for. Mm. Thank you for listening on the platform. Wow.
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen and amen. amen. We thank God for, for that powerful uh, testimony from Brother Dave. Thank you. God is a God that answers prayers. We are praying and uh, looking at suitcases. And the next thing you receive a phone call that you need to pack your bag and go. That's what God can do. And uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, uh, for that testimony. Let's go to Manchester. Sister Wussi and uh, Minister Getty follows. Uh, Sister Wussi, please, uh, if you can share your testimony. Uh, I, I know that uh, we haven't got cameras uh, with... Um, uh, some uh, people, but that's fine uh, as long as we can hear uh, the voices uh, of what the Lord has done. I know in some times and some places, uh, the air do's and air don'ts are very, very important. So people turn off the cameras. They don't want uh, uh, everybody to, uh, to, to, to see. Uh, okay, so let's go to Wussi in uh, Manchester. And uh, please uh, share your testimony. Then Minister Gate will follow. Uh, please, if you've got a testimony, a word of encouragement, or anything you want to share with us, uh, uh, just indicate in the chat, and we will call your name next. Even as we as we move on, today's testimony time. What is it that God has done in your life, in your family, as we have been praying a scripture that God maybe has just opened your eyes to see things you've never seen in that scripture. Anything that our Lord um, uh, might be doing. Uh, in your life, Sister Bus. Uh, good evening to everyone. Good evening. I, I just want to testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life and my family. Mm. Uh, from the start of the fasting, I would say there were challenges on the way, and uh, I just believe that it was a test. It was the test of my faith, mm. which uh, going forward then. Uh, my last year, my daughter was sick, and uh, God was so good. He was, she was healed. She's healed. She's okay. She's looking forward to, to start the job. Of course, she's not been offered anything, but interviews on the way they are coming, uh, uh, front and back. I mean, they, she's been called everywhere for the interviews, but the there's interview. nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no positive uh, thing yet. And again, there was a time that I prayed in years back, I think two or three years back, I prayed, we prayed for my nephew that had an accident, if you can still remember, and uh, he couldn't work because, or he lost the job just because of the treatment and so forth. He put the claim though for, to run, that is road accident fund. Oh, it's yes, only, yes, the last week she, he called me saying that it's been offered. For, uh, for the lump sum of money for the accident, road accident. Wow. But um, him, uh, I would mention it, but it's a lump sum of. Yeah, yeah. I just know that it's a lump sum. It's, it's good money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, that's a good money. <laughs> And again, um, uh, I, I, I've been, uh, I'm supposed to be traveling next week, but one of my colleagues has lost a mom. Then she asked me if you can change the, 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 the holidays. So when I went to my agency for the change, to change my ticket, they were charging me 180 to change because this agency is not, a, it was not a straight uh, booking to Emirates. So they said that I have to pay the charges of 180. Then um, just today, this morning, they just called me saying that, okay, we managed to change your ticket free of charge. Then wow. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. God is good. Amen. 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 And then they promised me that they will fund my studies. So I've tried, I've tried. I mean, I started the, the assessment in uni. Hopefully wow. everything wow. will go well. God wow. is good. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen and amen. amen. Let's give God the big hand clap amen. offering up for Hallelujah. our sister Wussi, uh, the, the, the nephew who was uh, involved in an accident a few years ago. We were praying, and now he has been uh, given a uh, uh, good money. I uh, just, uh, of course, uh, to support him the time he has been out of work, and uh, the daughter 
she's more interviews and uh, people calling her to go for that interview. And we declare in a prayer and fasting that she is going to get the best job that God has destined for her. Amen and amen. And also for that a prayer answered, whereby they say, we're going to charge you to change the ticket and then themselves turn around and call to say, we are not charging you anything. We thank God for, uh, for that. Amen. 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 So, it's amen. Testimony time, encouragement time, thanksgiving amen. time, scripture sharing, uh, amen. praise amen. items. Let's go to Sister amen. Getty, Minister Getty, to share with us what the Lord has been doing uh, or done uh, in our life. Over to you, man of God. Yeah, hallelujah. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm just excited uh, today. Who Amen. knows? Who has confirmed that this year is a year of separation? If it hasn't been confirmed yet, yes, indeed, it is a year of separation. Because if I'm here and Malawi is playing, you should know that it's really a separation because I would have loved to be where Malawi is watching and screaming and dancing and doing everything. But yeah. to be a separated bride is costly. We need to let go other things so that oh, we yes. are separated, oh. so that we are, we are found not wanting and needing. Amen? The, the second thing that I want to testify is, I mean, um, every year uh, I wait for prophets to say uh, what God is pressing upon my, uh, their heart, uh, but I also wait for my Rema word, my Logos word. So this year it was a bit late because by December there were so many things that were happening around me, but God being a gracious God, I think around maybe 25 to 31st uh, December, I got a word and what I heard was this year God is going to reveal uh, prophets and he's going to expose the false prophets. So I've been waiting, I've been praying for that word and I've challenging myself and I want to thank God for Warwick because it has given me a platform to try. I come not knowing everything, but I come boldly and I say, I am not a seer, I don't see, but I sense, I sense the atmosphere, I can sense to say it's tense here people are happy here i can sense but god is now uh opening my eyes he wants to see things so i want to testify uh by uh reading daniel 2 22 i mean daniel 2 uh verse 22 if you can allow me just uh to go there and read so it says daniel 2 uh, uh verse 22 it says he reveals deep and hidden things he knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. Um, just to link with what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say this afternoon is, um, as I said, God is going to reveal sons and daughters and we want to thank God even for brother Dave because God is revealed. God is going to reveal poets this year. God is going to reveal summits. God is going to reveal singers. God is going to live whatever office you are, whether, whether a businessman, whether you are a prophet, whether you are an apostle, whether you are a pastor, evangelist, teachers, God is going to reveal. The secret is to separate, the separation integrity. So for me, I said, okay, I'm going to go this year. I'm going to trust God. God, this year, God, I want you to open my, my eyes. I want to see. So yesterday, if you remember, I came and people sometimes they confuse. She's crying. No, I was groaning because there was so much that was revealed about our country, and it still needs to uh, our prayer, and it still needs to wisdom. But when I, what I was trying to share, I was saying kangaroo. I see a kangaroo. A kangaroo has got a pouch and has got a baby at his belly. And what I was hearing that in that moment was uh, as a country. We are transferring the spirit of cor corruption from one generation to another. That's why there was a mother kangaroo and the baby kangaroo, because the mother is carrying the belt, is leaping forward, is going everywhere with the baby. So that's what I got. But then after immediately I finished uh, um, what um, uh, the, the, the Zoom, I went because we, we, we're here in part. So I started searching, I'm like kangaroo. So my first thing was like, okay, God, wow, uh, what are the features of kangaroo? So I was uh, Google, so I just went on week and I found a kangaroo and basically they talked about kangaroo uh, judicial system. Basically, they leap over on the genuine system. In short, they create means and ways of trying to defeat justice. And if you, if you, um, in fact, it's wisdom for an intercessor a watchman to watch and to pray. So you don't just pray here, finish here, and it ends there, but you start now looking to say, okay, what I'm hearing, 
what I'm saying. Is it happening? So for me, after I have prayed, if I've prayed for Malawi, I've prayed for UK, I go and read the news. Because now you see the sign and the wonders. You see what has been revealed. Is it manifesting? And do you still need to pray? So immediately I went, I mean, uh, when I heard that to say, say, kangaroo, they are trying to defeat the justice. You should just go and read the newspapers about Malawi. Like this morning I woke up and they're saying, okay, the main body, the anti-corruption bureau, the government doesn't have money to give them. I mean, to continue like investigating cases of corruption, all that, to cut the story short. For me, I want to thank God, first of all, for giving me an opportunity. The Warwick family has given me an opportunity to grow in one area because you desire wisdom and God gives you wisdom. So for me, this year I have desired, I'm like, God, I want to see, I want to hear because each one of, of us has got an opportunity to hear. So I want to hear and I want to see, and I want to thank God, first of all, for this Zoom has given me that opportunity, but also God confirming what he's telling me. When I hear, I might get other things wrong, and maybe I've said already other things that are wrong. Don't be afraid to come and ask me to say, get it, you said this. And if I was wrong, I, I am the first person to say, I am wrong. I'll come to you and say, I think I got it wrong that time. Let's pray. If there was any damage, let's pray together. But I just want to thank God for the opportunity to share the word of God, but also seeing it manifesting, not only in individuals' lives, lives but also in the nation so i want to thank god for that the second thing is i want to thank god uh i do uh poetry and i do broadcast my own studios so my gadgets were affected and i didn't have money to buy like an ipad i needed an, an ipad to help me recording so we are in a um a a, a group i'll not mention uh the, the group but we in a, we are in a group a group of uh, many africans and uh, by God's grace, they gave the group uh, iPads, iPhone to distribute to the people who need, who, who, are, who are need. So I went to them, I'm like, I might not maybe fit the category, but for this season, can you help me? I need an iPad. So I was given an iPad, a brand new iPad in this moment, in this season, because I was praying, I'm like, God, I want to be the favored one this year. So I want to thank God for favor, but I was also to thank God for the revelation and the insights and the opportunity to share that with the family. Thank you so much. I know I've wow, said Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Let's give God the big hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. Amen, amen. amen and amen. It's just that one iPad I like, um, iPhone products. I may come to say, hey, come on, it's a candy. <laughs> I also need an iPad. We thank God for that provision. That's what God can do as we pray, as we seek the mind of God. You are praying and trusting God, and then uh, you get what uh, uh, you are praying for. It is an encouragement, and God is a faithful God. Amen and amen. Let's move on. Uh, for those that have got testimonies, please indicate by raising your uh, electronic hand or just type in the chat to say, I have a testimony, and definitely uh, we are going to uh, have you uh, testify. Let's cross over all the way to Malawi. Uh, Reverend Muntali, uh, please uh, share with us the testimony of what God is doing in this season, in this year. Over to you, sir. Uh, how could you? I, I didn't raise the hand, but uh, I know you know, sometimes you we raise hands in our hearts and we can see. Yes, people. yes, yes. Amen. Go okay. for it, Reverend. <laughs> no, I just want to thank God. You know, uh, you know, this fasting has just brought so many things in our lives. Mm. Um, like myself, I just feel like we should continue doing it. Amen. I feel like we should we should add some more days. Amen. Uh, this, this Sunday we are finishing, but I just feel like we should add extra 10 days. I feel like mm -hmm. we've been much closer with God. Mm -hmm. And I've enjoyed the time and, uh, you know, this is wonderful. That's the testimony which I have. Uh, actually, so many things are happening spiritually. So many things are happening here. Um, mm -hmm. I can't mention all, but we thank God for the grace that uh, we've been able to communicate to God. We've been able to be closer to God. We've been able to talk to God whatsoever we want to talk to. We wanted to talk to talk to Him. Uh, mm -hmm. By the end of the day, I believe and trust that uh, we will have whatsoever we, uh, we we've been asking from Him. We will have them by the end of the day without failing. That I I believe. Um, mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen and amen. We amen. thank God for that power of testimony. And uh, uh, there you go. And uh, we are believing God to say this God is a faithful God and is going to yeah. see us through and will continue. And definitely we will update after uh, this prayer and fasting when we uh, we have a leadership meeting uh, with Apostle Reverend Triumph, Pastor Beata, Pastor Bonface, and the rest. Uh, uh, the way forward uh, for other meetings coming up in the year. Amen and amen. Who is coming next? Uh, please uh, feel free. Uh, we want to hear testimony, what God has said, what God is saying, what God is doing in your life. Thanksgiving, praise item, a scripture that maybe God has shared uh, or put upon your heart. Uh, feel free to uh, feel free, please, uh, uh, to share that uh, testimony. Amen and amen. Deacon Eschangala, uh, go for it, woman of God. You can unmute. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, uh, good evening, everyone. I haven't got a testimony as per se, but uh, what I can say is that I'm just grateful uh, for the um, prayer and fasting uh, and what I have. Um, actually uh, noticed is that I have, um, it has given me an opportunity uh, to mm. read the Bible more and hear the word of God, uh, mm. but also it has prepared me for the year. Um, mm. I, I do feel it in the spirit that God has got something uh, special for us this year and we're going to see a lot of miracles. And because of that, um, mm. Uh, I, 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 it has given me an opportunity just to have that faith mm. and uh, to, to step to, 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 to step forward and believing in God for the things that are to come in this mm. year. So yes, I'm excited. I'm believing God for, 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 for miracles this year. Um, wow. We're going to see a lot of things happening this year, but yes, mm. um, this, is, this is just the right time for us. Uh, we keep going. And as everybody has been saying, um, <laughs> We need more meetings like that. So God is speaking. God wants to be closer to us. So this is not the time for us to, to stop or to be left behind. Uh, we need to move forward together, um, having meetings like this, talking to God all the time. And we're going to see a lot of manifestations in this year. Yes, amen. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. Let's be expectant. Let's be uh, there to expect to say this is what God is going to do. You know, when you begin to expect and uh, uh, beginning of the year with prayer is a foundation. You are laying a foundation to say, this is what I'm believing God for. This is what I'm trusting uh, uh, God for. And uh, just go for it. And uh, let's believe God uh, to do uh, the work that uh, he has uh, uh, promised. Amen and amen. I see a hand. Is that a sister we'll see again? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, was it from uh, uh before? Oh, no, it, I think uh, it was before. That, I'm sorry. Okay. No, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's fine. That's fine. As we wait for people, uh, Pastor Kennedy, Minister Yami there. I've seen Sheila there. Uh, Pastor Bonfesti, Sister Claire there, and uh, uh, Apostle there. Uh, please uh, feel free. Uh, it's uh, testimony time. We want to hear what God is doing. As people are preparing, please type in the chat. I just want to uh, quickly uh, give a testimony of what happened yesterday. And uh, just to thank each one of you uh, for your prayers. Uh, yesterday, I had to rush back into Leicester uh, concerning the funeral of... Um, our late brother Marriott. Uh, he passed on on Wednesday night into Thursday. And uh, because they had moved him from uh, one point to another, uh, he was uh, in one uh, assessment uh, unit. Then they moved him to another place and they moved him to another hospital because they wanted to put him in a special place uh, uh, meeting uh, his needs. And then he passed on, and within uh, three days, he had moved in three different places. So where he came from, they are thinking, okay, uh, somebody has prepared the, uh, the paperwork. 
where he is, somebody's thinking, okay, uh, the other group have uh, signed the death certificate and everything. Uh, I'll just pause uh, what he is able to, uh, to do. Amen, Sister Miriam. I can see uh, Miriam there and uh, we- Hello, to... hello. Okay. Yes, please. And then uh, Claire, you can follow. And then I've seen Janet as well. Yeah, okay. Um, my testimony is, is about my parents, especially my dad. Mm, mm. It was about two, two weeks ago when he, he got ill. You know, when you've had, I mean, you've had uh, this, situation where you've never your your parents have never been maybe admitted in hospital. Into a hospital. Never been, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, have, they haven't been ill. I mean up to the point that they admitted to the hospital. Mm. So it was this day two weeks ago that he got ill. And then uh we told him to say can, maybe can you go to the hospital and uh, uh, get some tests and then it was like him was reluctant, was not even willing to go a week mm. past. So what mm. we did is like, we just sent, uh, we told our brother to say, can you go to, because it's it's a, it's like a 12 hour drive. Mm. Yeah, it's a 12 hour drive, 10, 11, 12 hours drive from where my brother was to where my, my, my our parents are. And then he drove, he went there and then, to him, the way he was explaining to us, it was like he really, um, he was very ill. Yeah? So he booked an appointment when he just arrived. He booked it, talked to the doctor. Can I come and see you? The doctor said, yes, you can come tomorrow morning at night. So they went there to, um, in the morning. They did all the tests. And to our surprise, what, what the results and what we thought, we thought maybe he was very ill. And the results proved to us to say he was not all that like the way we were thinking. It was us who were thinking very deep to say maybe he, he must be very, very ill because mm. he's never been ill before. So to us, it was like, so what is going to happen? Why? Because of the way my brother was telling us the previous day to say, no, he's, he's very ill. The way I've seen him, the way he's, I mean, he's walking, he's like, he's having this problem. But when the God that is us from the doctor, I just thank God to say, oh, I thank God for this because all oh, what we thought, it was more than what, mm. uh, how the, yes. the results have come out. Mm. So for me, I just want to thank God to say, thank, I thank God because he has kept him still more strong and strong, not being very ill ever since, We've never heard him being admitted in the hospital. So for that, I just want to thank God for that. This leads to our family. It's really, it's, it's a big testimony. Because Amen. if you can see many, many people, many parents out mm. there, they are, they, are, they are suffering, they are ill, they are sick. But mm. if, you look, if I look at my parents, they've mm. never been admitted into the hospital. Hallelujah. So for that, I just want to thank God for that. Yeah, that's the testimony that I have. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you for that powerful testimony. Divine health, divine health. Yeah. And especially when you are involved in prayer, you are praying. And sometimes we, we encourage people to say, let's just pray in the spirit. Let's pray uh, in tongues. And sometimes you are speaking mysteries and sometimes you don't understand what maybe the battle you are fighting in the spiritual realm as you pray, as you fast, and God answers prayers, for example, as we are hearing our parent being taken to hospital, and then the results come to say, you know what, we can't see anything here, it's fine, and he goes home, God is a miracle working God, amen, and amen, let's share more testimonies, and we'll be concluding today, uh, sister, is that Claire, I've seen their favored Claire, and then Janet, if you can come through, and uh, we've got Apostle, uh, we'll conclude uh, uh, for us, let's go to Claire. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh i just want to thank god um for this privilege um to fast for this long i've never fasted more than a week 
I I really thought I, I I wouldn't be able to do it, but mm. it's been um it's been wonderful being in mm. the presence of God. Um I'm growing, I'll say mm. that. So I just want to give thanks to God. Wow, wow, wow. Amen. Let's thank God uh, for that powerful testimony from Claire. And uh, believe you me, all of us, there was a time that we says, you know what? Let me try this. Uh, am I going to make it? Uh, even uh, us that uh, might have been uh, uh, longer in the church and we have heard and we have tried. Every time you start praying and fasting, all of us, the headache begins to talk to you. Uh, your body begins to talk to you and you feel like you are fainting and all that stuff. And uh, you begin to, uh, to hear these voices. Why are you doing this and that? But thanks be to God. And thank you for that encouragement. Uh, and uh, somebody said, how do I know how to pray? How do I learn how to pray? We learn how to pray by just start praying. We learn how to talk by just start talking. And sometimes you don't even know what you are talking about, but at least you begin to produce uh, sound. And in prayer, it is the same thing. You begin to repeat, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Yes, it's prayer. You can go for an hour. And uh, before long, you begin to say, oh, yeah, now I'm believing God for this. Now I'm going to do this. Now I'm worshiping. Now I'm praising. And we are all learning and growing together. Amen and amen. Sister Janetty mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, Apostle uh, will come through and uh, we'll be uh, concluding, um, God willing. Sister Janet. Amen. Amen. Um, I don't know <laughs> whether mine is a testimony, but um, to thank God for his protection on my life. Um, mm. I remember a few days ago as I was going to work, so I just left my house. And mm. then um, as I turned the corner, this person was driving from the other direction and they actually turn, you know, like where they leave their lane and then they are gunning for you. Mm. And then I looked at the person, I'm like, ah, this person, what's going on? And mm. I remember I just said, oh, I'm not going to have an accident. I'm not going to be one of the statistics this year. And then mm. at the last minute when he was about to hit me, he swerved and went back in his lane. So I just want to thank God to say he protected my life. Mm. Well, that was a full head on, but I was in my lane. This person actually left their lane and they were gunning for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So just Hallelujah. Help God for that. The other yeah. thing, I don't know, like um, it's it's been my desire to, to say, God, I want you to speak to me about my life. Um, mm. I want to hear you more and um to know like things. Because God says that he can reveal great things, he can reveal things that are yet to come in our lives. Mm. So for me, um, I'm seeing God answering my prayer because I keep telling Mama Pastor that um, there are certain conversations that mm. I will have with someone, but I've already had them with them. I don't mm. know if you understand what I'm saying. So. Yeah. A thought will come to my head. I remember I was driving from work the other day. So I said, oh, my pastor is going to ask me to lead um, prayers for the, for the fasting and prayer. I need to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. And then by the time I go home, I, 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 I was looking at my uh, messages, WhatsApp messages. And there, there was a text to say, can you lead us in prayer and fasting? Wow. <laughs> and I was like, wow. And I think there's been like a few conversations like that where I'll be thinking, oh, so-and-so might call me and ask me this question. So what answer am I going to give them? And then the person actually calls me and mm. asks me the same, the very same question. So to me, I can see that God is speaking to me and great and mighty things are yet to come. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God a big hand clap offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now God is a faithful God. He speaks to us even intentionally, the inner voice. Uh, and that's why we are saying this year, let's hear God. Let's, uh, let's uh, read his word. Let's meditate. Sometimes he just switch off uh, from uh, all the noises of this word and just say, let me just think about God and how big this God is. And believe you me, you begin to experience the goodness of the Lord. 
Amen and amen. Uh, I can't uh, see Apostle uh, uh, yet, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we can always uh, have him uh, anytime uh, when uh, he's available. And uh, we still may have some more testimonies coming uh, uh, on Sunday. And we just want uh, to encourage each one of uh, each one of you to say, please uh, feel free to share. Uh, you might think, oh, maybe my testimony is small. No, 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 no. Your testimony is not small. Your testimony is good and your testimony is big. No matter how you look at it, I just want to encourage each one of us, whatever uh, God has done in your life, whatever God is doing uh, in your life, please learn to share. The Bible tells us in Revelation, they overcame the enemy. They overcame the devil by the word of their testimony and by the blood of Jesus Christ. So there is so much power as we begin to share these testimonies, as we begin to share what is happening uh, in our lives. You don't know how we have been encouraged today, especially for those that have testified, all of us here today. You never know, and you may not even understand to say, wow, I didn't know that uh, this um, a thing uh, can happen. You can apply for something, and then you get an answer. Uh, you get uh, this happen, or this, as we have been uh, hearing. So be encouraged. God is a faithful God. He answers prayer, and he wants to bless each one of us. Amen and uh, amen. So we thank God for uh, today. And uh, Reverend Triumph, uh, any announcement? We are meeting uh, tonight uh, for those that are able to uh, to uh, to work up in the night, and we'll just uh, uh, flash on the screen. Uh, I'm sure some of you you might have uh, uh, you might have uh, uh, seen or received a text uh, during uh, our day uh, during day today. Uh, logins, we still uh, use uh, the logins as shown under Zoom there, streaming live on Zoom, just those details, the way you logged in today, those details uh, will not change. You log on with those uh, during the day at 4.30 uh, p.m. Then if you are logging in in the night, midnight, yeah, just take a screenshot of, uh, of that number uh, 946, uh, that number there, and uh, uh, that's uh, uh, the number that uh, you just uh, uh, log on with uh, when we are uh, logging uh, in, the, uh, in the night. Yeah, so please take note of uh, that number at the bottom there. Uh, so you log on with that number in the night at midnight with a passcode 843360, uh, 9946228. 4601 that's for the midnight prayers the usual logins that you logged in with uh, during the day just continue with uh, uh with those details uh, logging in uh, every day at 4 30 midnight that's when you use the other login uh, uh, details reverend triumph uh, no i don't think there is anything else evangelist to really announce apart from the uh, midnight uh, call, which is as he, as we have already been told that we are meeting tonight also, which is just for half an hour. So please, let's just encourage somebody and just invite them and let them be part and parcel of the blessing of these prayer meetings. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. And uh, we'll just ask uh, Reverend Triumph to stay behind Pastor Bonface or our pastors uh, uh, just uh, for a quick uh, uh, catch up and we'll update uh, everybody. Thank you so much. And may the good Lord uh, let you bless you all. Thank you. Okay. Dikon Estangala, we'll do that. We'll uh, do that. Uh, Deacon and Shangala, you can stay okay. behind uh, 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 Reverend. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Deacon, if you stay behind uh, uh, Pastor yeah. Kennedy, Pastor Bonfire. Okay. <coughs> okay, amen and amen. It's just a, a quick, uh, brief. Amen. Uh, amen. It's just a. a Okay, I can hear myself. I don't know how. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Well, okay. 
yeah. Okay, yeah, just, uh, just a quick one. Uh, we did post uh, in the uh, pastor's chat and also just to find out uh, our brother is going to be with the Lord and we'll be having uh, a meeting at six with, um, with the family. And uh, we just wanted to brainstorm as uh, how we can help and how we are going to help as a church. Uh, the family has given us uh, the go ahead to arrange uh, the service uh, for our brother uh, send off our service. And um, as we, as a church where he uh, fellowshiped and we ministered together uh, with our brother, uh, we are expected to uh, conduct the service. Yeah, so Reverend Triumph, uh, if you speak with um, uh, Reverend Kandawile, uh, the process has begun uh, to see how quickly that he can be repatriated because the cousin who is uh, doing the paperwork and everything, uh, he has to go back to the United States of America. But we have already started contacting um, uh, the people that can prepare the body, embalm the body in London. So they will move the body from Leicester to London. So during the church service, uh, which we are going to conduct here in Birmingham, uh, we are not going to have the body uh, with the advice of, uh, uh, of people that have had uh, this encounter. We don't want the body to be moving from one point to another, and that will add a cost uh, to that. Yeah. So please, uh, if uh, we can uh, uh, think of how best this service can be, uh, uh, how long you think we can do this um, service, uh, the company where I was working, Hovis, they are willing to send a representative to come uh, where we can get uh, the condolences book that people can uh, sign in and uh, which day we can think of either this weekend or next week uh, in the week, but we're expecting the body uh, to begin to be prepared. They started paperwork today and they might speed up everything because now they have the death certificate, the passport and everything. So knowing that it works with uh, emails, yeah, so the board might be leaving uh, the country anytime when they collect it from uh, Leicester to start preparing it in London. Yeah, so as a church, what are your thoughts? I just want you to think about this. And then during on our pastor's forum, if you know and you have an idea where we need to print a photo or a picture that we can put on the table in church uh, or on the slides, whichever one uh, is easy, uh, we need the condolences book. How much as a ministry, how much can we contribute uh, towards uh, this funeral? Yeah, so these are the few things I wanted to bring to your attention. How much can we contribute? How can we conduct uh, the funeral service? How is the funeral service conducted, especially for repatriation, which is going to go to another country committing uh, the body uh, to the flight to the nation of destination? So those are the few things I wanted us to, to start considering. Pastor Boniface, you wanted to say something. Um, uh, thank you very much, Pastor Ankola, even for the work that you are doing, and we are so grateful even for the update. Uh, may I suggest, number one, that uh, the day of the funeral should be, for example, if the body will be leaving on Saturday or on Monday, can we have the, the, the memorial on, sat on Saturday, if it's possible, okay. so that we can have an ample time to invite everyone, those that are in Leicester, those that are in London, those who want to come. We don't want to have the memorial service is taking place in, in Birmingham. There is another one, a small one in Leicester, there's a small one in London. No, we want to make a big one. And on that day, may I suggest that even on that day, can we collect some money? To send, right, to send to Zambia if it's possible, if it's possible. So before the body goes. And what you said, can we have a picture and the flowers around the, 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 the his picture as the as one of the, the memorial uh, uh service? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So, Apostle, did you want to say something?
pas ça, Sam. Ah, uh, uh, good evening. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe I missed the first part of your what you explained. What you explained. Um, but I know I, I, I got the, the last bit of it. Um, I think um, the proposal of what you're saying is, is true. Uh, we, uh, we need to, to look into this. As like Pastor Bonfess is saying, that uh, we need to have one uh, uh, big memorial uh, service rather than uh, function before. So we need to look at all the, uh, the protocols that are required uh, when um, we are doing that uh, final farewell to to one of our, 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 our brother. So that is to have the ministers in place, you know, um, even just um, uh, just take a tour of um, how things are done really. Uh, but I think I missed the first part. So um, I was a bit, a bit caught up. All right, okay. Yeah, what I was saying was um, uh, the family uh, in Zambia and also his cousin who is here, uh, mm -hmm. as they have given us a go ahead as a church uh, to organize uh, the uh, memorial service for him before the body uh, is uh, flown to, to Zambia. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the paperwork has already started. We have identified the company that is going to repatriate the body uh, from uh, UK uh, mm -hmm. to Zambia. They are mm -hmm. in London, and they, we have given them, uh, uh, Brother Frank, the cousin, has mm -hmm. emailed them uh, all the documents they wanted, the death certificate, the passport, and mm -hmm. uh, everything. And we are going to have uh, uh, a general meeting at 6 in the next 15 minutes uh, with the family in Zambia and all of us that are uh, in the UK, uh, just to look at how much money have been raised up, up to now and to give an update uh, with uh, Frank Kimson, uh, giving an update how far he has gone uh, in terms of the people that are going to prepare the body and take the body. So I was saying, as a church, maybe we need to look at uh, how our main part as well, especially, is how are we going to do the service? Yeah. Yeah, maybe getting some more information how we can, we can conduct this service. The company where you work, they will send a representative the community where I was living in Leicester, we have got connections. We can invite them uh, to come. And uh, uh, we need maybe to get a condolences book, but maybe to, between today, tomorrow, maybe if we brainstorm how the service can be, maybe how much are we contributing um, as a ministry towards the, uh, the costs or sending off of our brother. Yeah, those are some of the things I thought maybe we, we share as leaders and uh, just to make sure that we are all moving uh, on the same page. Uh, right. Also, oh, go on, go on, finish, Reverend. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. Uh, so sorry. Um, uh, on the service part, it's not very complicated uh, um, because um, the burial will take place in Zambia. So mm -hmm. it's just on the day, but it's just there prior to the service, the things that are needed, like, you know, uh, there are some uh, special analog of people. Of course, I don't know if the children are going to be there. I just don't know. Uh, we, his cousin has been in touch with, um, with uh, uh, the, the former le uh, wife, and they have been in good terms and in talking. We can extend an invitation, and uh, until they confirm, uh, we may not uh, uh, exactly give a yes or no answer, but we can extend an invitation. Yeah, okay. Why am I I'm asking about that is because um, uh, they are part of uh, what is what is required, you know, uh, because obviously children, as they say something like in their settings here, yeah, they would do probably a point about their dad, whatever. I know that there was, uh, um, they weren't together. So probably it would be difficult for them probably to even to say who that is, how, how they're missing their dad whatsoever. But it's one of those things which are always there mm -hmm. and uh, the family. But again, um, uh, even people in the church who are probably just pick up two or three people, key people who mm -hmm. can say like um, a statement or, um, about who is just an appreciation. And obviously the, um, the, 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 the singing um, there, uh, we can have, um, uh, we, we have, we have got our brother Dave, uh, who does uh, funeral poems as well. 
Mm. Um, he, he does that. He goes in a lot of, uh, um, you know, British uh, funeral here. They invite him uh, to do a poem about that person. He just given bullet points. I'm uh, sure from you, person call of how uh, best we can describe uh, uh, our late brother Marriott and how we miss him. It's just more small those things on the service. Um, mm. And uh, um, and I think I don't think it's a complicated thing. Uh, okay. Just. Uh, all two ministers will share the word um, um, in, in, to suggest to, to, to demarcate them in different ways. One maybe will share in the area, the area, whatever. Mm. Not very big, complicated. And um, um, that one can be sorted out. It's not a big issue. But okay. I think I was looking at um, um, on the, um, the financial issue. Um, mm. How was the uh, was, did he have any cover, uh, insurance cover, um, so that whatever we're doing, we know uh, when we're taking steps of financial issues, even when we're consulting people, our friends, our partners, um, we know um, how is that covering? How is it? How is it coming in? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, he took some. Uh, he took. He had some uh, insurance covers, uh, except that uh, because they were not together with the wife. And uh, they ensure us they wanted a wheel. And uh, there are two wheels that uh, one, he had uh, uh, verbally uh, recorded a few days before he passed on because he couldn't write. There was a wheel before uh, that he had uh, uh, written when they were together as a family, where the wife was involved and the children. Now that they have divorced, the wife cannot execute that will. Mm. So for the insurers to give out anything or transactions of money, mm. there is need for the will or an executor, uh, they call them, uh, who is going to make a decision to say is a legal person appointed uh, to do this on behalf of the family. In mm. the absence of that, then you have to go through a legal process and uh, make documentation and uh, have the oath. But that process might take ages and ages. So his cousin is saying, whatever little money people are raising, he is willing to foot the bill and reinvest later on if need be. If there will not be any reinvestment, he wait until the paperwork and court papers and everything is sorted and then he can be reinvest. Yeah. So the family, yeah, they are in that position to say they want the board to go and be cleared from the undertakers and come out of this country. And because he's not a resident of this country, he can't stay longer because he didn't uh, uh, prepare to stay longer. He wanted to come and visit his cousin and in the process, the cousin has died. So uh, he thinks uh, to say, if he, he goes and leaves uh, uh, the cousin body taken to Zambia, he will be much, uh, Happier uh, yeah. to yeah to 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 have it that way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I I hear you, man of God. Uh, I hear you, man of God. No, uh, men of God, yeah, women of God. Um, Dikonesi Angara, please come in. Um, I just wanted to hear those things so that when we're coming in, we know exactly where we are. You know, because obviously um, as a church, we need to put in something together. So I wanted to know from that regard. Yeah. Uh, what I wanted to to <coughs> ask as well. I know. The way uh, I think the uh, well, I think back home, even the British, the way they do the 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 here they call it the work. So you do the you go to the church and um, you have the 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 service, and then thereafter, um, if he, if he was being buried here, we would have gone, we would have gone to the to the to the cemetery, and then we would have come back. Um, for food, and then that's where people would be able to give like testimonies and and things like that. But back home, I think we do it the same way as well, where we, we go and we go church service, go and bury, then come back home. So that's what I wanted to ask: like, how are we gonna do this? Are we gonna have maybe a cup of tea for people after the church service? Are we gonna like have a cup of tea for people and uh, maybe have a bit of testimony? Or okay. Okay. Yeah, I think those are the suggestions. Be having a testimony in the church. Um, yeah, like people from um, from his work. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, those are some of the suggestions that uh, I wanted us uh, to think of, and then we can uh, share. Today, I had a word with the site manager. He called me when I was coming back from work. They are willing to send a representative to the funeral uh, service. Yeah, so it's up to us. And uh, maybe Reverend, if he does some, uh, uh, some uh, work, he can guide, we can post in the chat. Uh, to say, what if we looked at a service uh, in this way and all of us we uh, uh, put input? Uh, it's up to us how we want the service conducted. It has been thrown into our hands as the church where the brother uh, fellowshiped before he died. Yeah, so basically, whatever good ideas that you may have, uh, if you share with everybody, that will be that will be appreciated. And we can always uh, adjust and we can always see. Uh, I yeah. was just wondering, uh, um, uh, I was just inquiring, since uh, he was such a member of Warwick, but I guess he's doing grants. I was wondering, will we be able to host it there, just like a, an owner, knowing that he was the architect of this uh, sorry, Minister Yami, your line uh, is a little bit yeah. uh, very faint. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, I was wondering, I was just inquiring, and I was like, since uh, he was a member of Chief Green, but in, in uh, one week, but in Chief Green Grant, I was wondering, would it be uh, possible to actually host the, the funeral goodbyes and farewells at the branch itself, the church itself, just like an honor that he actually was in this building and he had to say. Yeah. What's it? I think the line is not good. No, it's I think, just the line. I think, he, I think she's saying, sorry, she's saying that uh, since he was a member of uh, the church in Warwick, would it be better, I think, to host the 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 funeral and the and whatever goodbyes and whatever at the at the at the church he, he went to is that right that's what you're trying to say minister yami yes 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 i was just wondering it began, if it was, it began here there. in kids green yes. as the host of the place yes that's yeah. uh that's uh that's the plan yeah we host it here in oh. birmingham at uh, at kids green yeah uh that's uh that's oh, yeah. correct yeah, but so I the, think the only thing is that it takes to be a weekend because they use the, the thing in the week. Uh, so what we will do is uh, tomorrow I'll go and check with Vika uh, because there are other groups that meet there in the week. Uh, in the week. So it means it should uh, be a weekend. So I will see tomorrow. I'll feed back. Uh, yeah, but let's have a think. But uh, we'll host it here in Birmingham at Kids Green. Uh, but I'll have a word with the Vika to see the availability times and which one would be suitable because there is a school that runs it's there. Necessary. There is a necessary school Friday. Monday to Friday and the only time oh, it's yeah. free. But um, tomorrow weekend, I'll go to the vicar and have a word with him. Yeah. Weekend will be best. Weekend will be yeah, best. Then in the yeah. afternoon. Uh -huh. in the yes. afternoon. So whatever thoughts that you may have and suggestions, Deaconess, if you can look around uh, for the condolences book, and maybe Reverend Triumph can ask Brother Dave will provide some bullet points so that he begins to work maybe on a poem. And maybe our Reverend can guide us uh, on a draft of uh, a program. Then the nitty greetings that we can put in, uh, we can always uh, share maybe by tomorrow. Yeah, and then he share the draft. And then each one of us, we can always add something. Yeah. Ma, ma, if mom and Cole can get with the women as well, uh, I think on our WhatsApp, maybe it would be nice to do like maybe just not something too 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 hard uh, for the women because it will be short notice. So we yeah. can do just tea with um, some scones and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then yeah, yeah do it that way. I don't okay. know if, if that's, that that's okay. Yeah, yeah that's uh, yeah. absolutely yeah, that, fine. I think that will be temporarily okay. Um, for Saviata, if you can just, what I would do is I would just uh, forward probably the ladies from this side. So we can just have one big group and so we can just communicate properly on how to go about with uh, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, thank you very much. And uh, that's sorry, what- uh, sorry, sorry. So, sorry. 
I don't know if you can hear me now, but I'm, I'm trying. But I'm, I, I was wondering, you know, you were talking about the picture. Is who is going to do that? You were saying you needed a picture and then go away. Uh, the picture, I've got the picture, as I was saying, uh, if we know uh, somewhere where we can have it uh, printed, a big one with a name, mm -hmm. uh, that we appreciate, I can provide the pictures. Okay, then uh, we'll look at, um, I'm, I'm, I'm try, uh, I'm, I was trying to figure out how, where, because I was looking at, you know how we do the kids when flying, then little piece of paper at the background, every single time when you go to check, is that about what you're looking at? <clears throat> Uh, yes, where we have a picture frame, and then we can put it on the table, and then we'll do the slides on the thing. Okay, okay. Let me look into it. Because uh, uh, last time I remember I did a picture, and it came, I think it was like 20 by 40, a huge one. All right, no, we we'll appreciate it. Okay, we'll talk with Pastor Kennedy here, and then we'll get back to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And apologies for rushing through. Uh, in terms of finance, Daisy, I'm sure between ourselves, we can uh, think through and see how much we'll consult each other, even by text. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apologies for rushing through because uh, we're going to go into the family meeting. I didn't realize that uh, it was <laughs> that's wow. about uh, three minutes to go into the other one. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much. And uh, Reverend, I'll get back after the meeting. Yeah. And then uh, update. And then we can think of uh, other ideas that comes through. Please feel free. Uh, let's put them on the chat. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. All right. Then bye bye. Bye bye. God bless. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.